enter a passage or verse and explore textual differences with all your critical resources. Let's imagine you run across a textual variant, like the one here in John 5, 3 through 5. You'll notice that the editors of the ESV have added a footnote to the end of verse 3, informing us that some manuscripts insert wholly or in part, waiting for the moving of the water, for an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons into the pool and stirred the water. Whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was healed of whatever disease he had. If we take a look at the NKJV, we can see that this English translation includes verse 4, while the ESV omits it. That's because these translations are based on different families of manuscripts, so this is definitely a place where we need to investigate a textual variant. And Logos makes textual criticism easier than ever before with the new textual variant section in the Exegetical Guide. To begin, go to Guides and select Exegetical Guide. Now, input John 5, 3 through 5 into the reference box and press Enter. When the report generates, scroll down and expand the Textual Variants section. You'll notice that this section gathers information from all of your text critical resources and lists them here according to various categories. We have textual commentaries, apparatuses, modern editions, transcriptions, ancient versions, and online manuscripts. Let me briefly explain the contents of each section. Textual commentaries analyze variant readings and provide an answer as to why one reading was chosen over the other. Apparatuses list the witnesses for variant readings. Modern editions are edited versions of the Hebrew Bible and Greek New Testament. Transcriptions are copies of manuscripts. Ancient versions are early translations of the Bible into other languages, like Arabic, Coptic, Ethiopic, Latin, Slavonic, and Syriac. Online manuscripts are images of extant handwritten copies of the biblical text, some in part and some in their entirety. Now that we're familiar with the various sections, let's get started with investigating the variant reading in John 5, 3 through 5. First, I'll start with the apparatus section and open up the apparatus for the Greek New Testament, SBL edition. This particular apparatus is unique in that it doesn't compare the ancient witnesses. Rather, it compares edited versions of the Greek New Testament. From the information under verse 3, we can see that the latter part of verse 3 and all of verse 4 are omitted from the Westcott and Hort, Tregelles, and NA28 versions. But this variant reading does appear in the Robertson Pierpont text, which is the New Testament in the original Greek, Byzantine text form 2005. To go one step further, we can see the textual differences of these versions by clicking on the link in the Modern Edition section labeled Text Comparison Of, followed by a list of my favorite edited versions of the Greek New Testament. I'm going to enlarge this window to get a better view. Now I have a complete comparison of this text in my modern Greek versions of the New Testament. The text comparison tool makes it easy for you to see the differences between Greek versions based on the major manuscript families, Alexandrian and Byzantine. Going a little deeper, we can look at the witnesses for each variant reading by going back to the apparatus section and selecting the one we prefer. The Nestle-Alan NTG Apparatus Criticus lists three sections of variants for John 5.3. The last two provide the variant readings we've been looking at, along with witnesses that include or omit this portion of the text. In both sections, we have several later manuscripts that include this portion of John and several early manuscripts that omit it. Focusing in on verse 4, notice that some of the witnesses that omit this portion of John include P66 and P75, two of the earliest papyrus manuscripts of the New Testament, along with some major codices like Codex Sinaiticus, and Codex Vaticanus, as well as several ancient versions like the Latin Vulgate, Syriac, and Coptic versions. If we return to our exegetical guide, we can view these papyri, codices, and ancient versions firsthand. P66 and P75 can be viewed in the transcription section, and Logos even gives us the option to compare these papyri with other ancient manuscripts like P45 and Codex Sinaiticus. When I open P66, you can hover over the textual variant marker at the end of verse 3 and read that this manuscript does not include verse 4. The Latin, Syriac, and Coptic versions of the New Testament can be viewed in the Ancient Versions section. And again, we have the option to compare several of these versions by clicking the Compare To link at the bottom of the list. While the vast majority of textual variants in the New Testament are fairly insignificant, sometimes, like in John 5.3, they are important and worth exploring. 
With all these powerful tools and text at our fingertips, we can now tap into several levels of text-critical research in one place and determine which reading is closest to the original.